Hi, today we'll try to fix uh, this desktop computer, no power. Here we have this uh, desktop uh, computer. This is the power jack. This motherboard is uh, Azrog motherboard. And we will try to check what is the problem. When I press um, the power button here, there is no any starting of motherboard. As you see, there is no power. Motherboard is dead. The CPU fan does not work. So we will try to check the problem. I take out uh, the main power jack, as you see, and I will try to check. First, I must check the power supply, and you ch can check uh, by making short sure between the green wire and the black wire, as you see in the photo. When you short this uh, wire, green with the black, power supply must start without motherboard. Now I make short here and I will connect the power. As you see, there is no any starting of the power supply. So the power supply is not working. Now I will bring another power supply This one is working. I will check it before I I fix it with the computer. Now I connect the power. As you see, it does not start. And I will make short between the green and black wires. When I make short, it will start. As you see in the photo, now I make short between the green and black wires, and I will on the electric power. As you see, it's working. the The fan is working, so the power supply is working. As you see, when I take out the short, this will stop. Now, I will fix this power supply in, in the computer, and I will take out the old power supply because it does not work. Take out the drive screw in order to fix the new one. This is the old power supply, does not work. Now I fix this one. I connect it with the motherboard, with the power jack, the main power jack, this one. Here.
I fix the screw here. There is four screw. You must fix it. We fix screw for power supply in computer housing. Now I connect only the motherboard. I don't uh, connect uh, hard disk drive or CD drive in order to check if there is any problem in the motherboard. Maybe the problem also in the motherboard, not only in power supply. So I will own only the motherboard. This is 12 volt jack also. I connect it with the motherboard. Now I will connect computer to electric. This is power jack. And I will see if it's, it will work or not. <coughs> now I press power button to start. Here I I feel the, the mother will start, but the CPU fan, it's have some problem, so it's, it works slowly. I fix, I try fix the screw for CPU heatsink. Now I'll start it again. As you see, the CPU is working slowly, so it's have some dirty inside. If you have a new one, you can't change it, but if you don't want to change it, you can fix it by using some cleaner, dry cleaner, and clean. this fan using this uh, dry spray
because maybe some dash inside the spoil barrier for uh, fan CPU fan I try to make it move like this I wait until the spray is dry why this spray is need to dry before I on the electric now I on the computer as you see now it's moving okay computer is working but I need to check another thing every time when you fix the desktop you must check the CPU heatsink thermal paste because sometimes th thermal paste is uh, gone or dry for a long time so you need you need to check it because this will make computers work slowly and make the processor temperature temperatures processor going very high so you need to check it maybe every six months or one year it depends how you use this uh, computer wow now as you see the thermal paste is gone terminal paste on the CPU on the fan base of fan heatsink is gone so this this thing is not good for computer because the CPU going hot temperature going hot too much and it's in influence to in, on uh, system working and make make the computer working slow every time you on the computer you feel it's slow when you on any program when you on it you try make any procedure in the computer you find your computer going slow and sometimes you think the problem from the windows and you make format for windows and the same thing is you same thing it's, uh, the problem does not does not uh, Resolve. So we try now. We first you must clean the old terminal paste. I use this tenor to clean the CPU, and I clean the heat sink also. You must remove the, the old terminal paste before you use a new one. And also here, the base of heatsink. Also, you need to clean it. Clean the old one. Because it's no use for the old one. Now, I bring this syringe to contain terminal paste as I told you this terminal paste is very important you can find it in the desktop and laptop also in the desktop and laptop also in, on CPU and uh, sometimes on VGA card also because it's need uh, to make the per uh, temperature going down in order to work properly I am searching for the terminal paste now
this all thing I make before I connect the hard drive or uh, CD drive now this I found it this thermal paste heatsink thermal paste I will put some of these to on top of processor I see the fan is not uh, properly working, so I will clean it again. It's, it's better to change it, but now this time I don't have new new one, so I will clean it, and uh, in the future I must change it. I to try to fix the terminal based on all area in in processor in order to make the temperature going down for a processor when computer work in order to work good and uh, without any hugging in the system or any slow And I will put back the processor heatsink fan. I must fix fix it uh, good in order to make touching between the heatsink and the processor to make processor cold every time. Now I make the final test. I put the power cable and I will on it computer Now the final test, and uh, as you see, it's working okay. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel to watch new video and teach yourself. Thank you for watching.